hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you the live that i had on my instagram page so most um my most interactive um platform is instagram and that's where i prefer to go live and in some cases i end up sharing way too much and a lot that i feel like my youtube crowd should know as well so i promised myself that when i go live on instagram i will be sharing those live sessions on my youtube channel as well so um this is what's happening at the moment we are working on a butterfly shelly dress and i want to take you back to the live video that i had on my instagram page that where i showed exactly what was happening the updates about this pattern and design then i i talked about different yarns that could be really beneficial to anyone who is a subscriber on this channel and then i talked about new designs that i came up with and some of the patterns that are available to purchase and the tutorials that are already available to watch so let's dive into the live video and um, enjoy just catch up with me and at the end of this video don't forget to comment down below to let me know how it went and if i should continue doing this hey guys uh, i'm going to give you a quick update about my custom order um it's not every day that i receive these orders but when i do it's really like a very tough time for me because these pieces take quite some time to make so this is how far i've gone I think I still have about 10 inches to go because the total length of the dress is supposed to be around 96 centimeters. But I think I'll reduce it a bit so that I give room for stretch. So I think I'm going to do a total of 90 centimeters. I think that was the measurement that the client gave me. Um, 96 centimeters. So you can imagine from the shoulder all the way down. So that means I have to work this stitch until it goes past the knees, which is really, really hard, uh, considering that the stitch is not so lacy and the stitches are quite compact. So this is what we have. This is how far I've gone. I started this just yesterday, by the way. I started it yesterday at around 11 a.m. And today, I have just worked for almost like only an hour and I've just started working right now. Yesterday I, I, I was working on and off until around 10 p.m. and uh, I managed to get to around this length. So within one hour I've, I've worked just a short distance here and I have to keep going. So. Uh, this is the butterfly shelly dress um, You can find the YouTube tutorial on my YouTube channel and uh, The written pattern is also available on Etsy on coffee uh, on Ravelry and on my website So you can find the written pattern there if you're not like a person who does videos so much so Yeah uh, when when I was making this particular one, I switched up some few things when it comes to the body of the butterfly, as well as the back of the dress when it comes to um, the video tutorial that I gave you guys. I have switched it up a bit and I think I'm going to write down new notes for this design to favor different uh, sizes because the first design had its own challenges and people gave me their complaints but um, I wasn't able to change that because I hadn't yet received like a custom order to try it out again so I finally found a solution to those questions that so many people are asking and I think I'm going to record an updated video of that talk because so many guys were asked were telling me that the red yarn that I used for the tutorial wasn't really suitable, especially for beginners who didn't know where to place the stitches. So I guess I'm going to do an updated video, but in white, 
I want to use white for the update the updated video tutorial of the top then I'll have to write down notes for the updated pattern for the dress because uh, I've changed so much when it comes to this design the dress may look the same but the construction has changed uh, to favor the fitting to get a better fitting of the dress so let me know what you guys think about this um, this stitch and is it something that you would try out or no someone was asking how i deal with the pain in my hands my hands don't get any pain actually no pain at all uh, the only pain that I get usually is maybe my left shoulder the 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 hand that really doesn't uh, crochet it's always uh, very static so that's usually where the little pain comes from but the moment I take a break and come back all the pain is gone so I try my best to sit up and very upright so that Um, I don't get back issues. Someone is asking for the yarn component. I don't know. Let me see. 100% premium micro acrylic. So, microfiber. That's I think I have to translate this. It's not in English, so I'll have to translate. This is Nako Yan. So it shows that it's acrylic yarn. But the better acrylic because I've I myself have worked with so much acrylic yarn and I know the difference by now. I know there's some acrylic yarn that's good and then there's that that's bad. And then there's that what that can be accommodated. Not so bad, not so good. Just there in the middle. The most frustrating part about such projects is the repetition. Uh, I have to work the same exact round over and over again so that I get the length of the dress that I require. That takes time and it really gets boring. So uh, I prefer to watch something while working on such projects. And while I'm working on this piece, I recorded a tutorial. Some people were asking me how I get such neat finish when it comes to my projects. And we don't see any joinings or any knots lying around. I have I've recorded a tutorial. I'll be putting it up uh, by the end of the day so that you can get a very neat finish at the end um i just noticed these changes make a whole lot of a difference uh some things that i overlook and i think everyone knows there's some people who are struggling with those particular points so uh whenever i'm working on my own custom orders i try to bring them back into video tutorials so this is the dress uh let me show you so guys that's the stitch i have taken a photo of it and i'm really excited it's really cute i can't believe i came up with this design two years back and i'm really proud of the gorgeous design that came out of it so it's two years ago and i'm still appreciating um the works of my hands I really think I did a good job and then okay guys so this is how the dress looks like on the dummy and uh, my client wants her dress to go below the knees the dummy is quite tall and uh, I think I'm going to just increase the length up to the the measurement that was sent to me for the total length of the dress but this is how the dress looks like for now it's really really pretty 
it's coming together so well. And uh, the amazing thing about this order is that I'm going to line it and pad it. Uh, so there's still a lot going on. And uh, uh, let me just increase the length first. Then I'll come back and show you the progress of this dress. Okay, guys, so this is how the... So, yes, um, that was a quick update. I was just recording behind the scenes. Can we see the tutorial? The tutorial is already on my YouTube channel. So just go and search for it. You should be proud to do... Wish I was halfway your level. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, so for those who want the tutorial, I use the same exact username on my YouTube channel. So just go and search for my name on YouTube and you'll be provided the tutorial for this dress. There's a top tutorial, there's a dress tutorial. Um, recently, I was able to recreate the butterfly crochet top, a different version of it. So I don't know how many versions that I have of this top. Some of them haven't yet even come out. Um, let me share with you. Let me just get a few samples. Alright, so I have a total of around four designs. I don't know where the fourth one is, but um, four butterfly top designs, five butterfly top designs. I don't know where the fifth is, but the first one is, uh, let me get the actual. So the first design is this one that creates this dress. So uh, let me put the dress aside and we start talking about these designs. This is the Shelly Butterfly Crochet Top. And it's the one that creates that gorgeous dress. I think I'm also going to create a version for the block the one that doesn't have holes. Uh, okay, this is the first one. That is the Shelly Butterfly Crochet Top. Now, let's just do this. Then we have the very first one, which was the plain Butterfly Crochet Top. Most of you guys have seen it. And we have the tutorial as well on my YouTube channel. So, uh, we have this plain one. This is block. It's not so see-through. And yeah, it creates a lot of coverage. Then we have another version. We have this one. This one is quite textured. It has a very rich texture. And um, it's one of my favorites, by the way, because it creates very good coverage. The texture is very rich. And uh, I, I, I don't have so many words to say for this one. All I know is that the texture is gorgeous. And I think it's just different from what everyone gives us. So this is the Alpine butterfly crochet top you can find the pattern on my etsy shop and on my website then we have the final one which you guys haven't yet seen at all at all at all uh this was my very last try at creating a butterfly crochet top and uh the texture is to die for everything about this top is just too beautiful I think I'm also going to create a dress for this one because I just love the way everything is going here. These last two have um, very dense textures. And uh, this one, I don't have a pattern yet, no tutorial, nothing. I was just giving it a try. 
and the chai happened to be very very nice so i decided to keep it so for this one i think i'll call out for some pattern testers soon but uh, i'm really pleased with how this came out so we have four butterfly crochet designs the fifth one i can't find it i think it's somewhere in my stuff but when i come across that top and it's my favorite by the way so the fifth one is the one that i don't know it is but uh once i find it i'll share with you in my next live maybe but yeah at this point i think i'm going to become like butterfly crochet designer or something because i'm obsessed with these tops i love your pieces i'm brazilian i live in the city interior your pieces are beautiful thank you so much thank you thank you yeah so that's what we have what's your favorite by the way is it the shelly is it the the basic is it the alpine or the last one which is the lilac i feel like this is this is like my favorite and this one but this i have a special attachment to my shelly butterfly top because it gave me a hard time coming up with the design so i think i have a special attachment to this one as well as the very final one which is this one so let me know what is your favorite just comment down below is it red is it pink is it white or is it lilac So let me just go back to working. I can't believe I have used about um, a total of three balls already. I'm on my fourth. So you can imagine how much work is involved when making this dress. Pink, oh wow. You're going with the basics, I guess. So I have so many butterflies in my office, red and pink. Okay. The shell, the white and the last. Okay. That's cool. So I think I'm going to make a romper out of the shell. I think I've fallen in love with this stitch after working with this yarn and i'm going to create a romper design so we're going to get a butterfly romper design i'm so excited for that but i don't think i'll be using this same color i think i'll go for like a wine red or something the one that i'm working on is this this top here the top turned into the dress so we are talking about the tops and we want to see which one is your favorite. So I think for the butterfly romper, I will do a wine red. I think that would be a really good. I don't know. I don't know whether to go with a darker color or the lighter color. I may also do like a sea color. Shades of blue, maybe. Beautiful colors. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, for the people who are asking how they can place their custom orders, you can either email me to place a direct order or whatever you see on Etsy can be made in an, in an actual piece. So you can message me there. Uh, you can email me or you can DM me on Instagram and your order will be ready. For example, this order, uh, the person messaged me on Etsy after seeing the listing of the pattern. She doesn't know how to crochet, so she reached out and told me, uh, asked if it was possible to make the dress for her and yeah i just sent her a quotation and she agreed and i got started after making the payment definitely 
she made her payment already so the moment i'm done here i'm going to just package it and send it off she's in the u.s but she is italian and by the way uh i wanted you guys to help me recommend some yarns that you really know are really really nice What's the best yarn that you have ever used when it comes to crocheting? I want to give a try to different yarns. Um, recently, I made a purchase of some acrylic yarn that I didn't like at all. I, I don't know, the yarn looked very beautiful in the photos, but when um, when it was delivered, it's not exactly what I expected. So let me show you some of the yarn that i purchased let me just put away these butterfly tops these will be available to purchase on my i think on my website i should make some listings for these pieces so that they go away from here so uh i i just want to sell them off when they're in sets not just a simple top and what I want like a full set of shirts and something, skirt and something, so that uh, we don't get plain tops. So, um, this is the yarn that I purchased. It's called uh, Marina. I think it's called Marina. It's acrylic yarn. Definitely, if if you love acrylic yarn, this would be really good for you. Maybe cardigans, sweaters, all those things. Uh, this is Marina yarn. And it's 100% acrylic and it's a DK yarn. So let's have a look at it. I got some beautiful colors because I was very, very excited once. I laid my eyes on this yarn because the colors were really intriguing. As you can see, this is wine red, and I think I'm going to use it. It's not the best of yarn that I have seen around the market, but um, it's usable. So let me show you some of the colors. There is blue. I just got one piece of orange because I felt like it was really cute. And then uh, some white here. And by the way, uh, it's the yarn that I used for my Alpine butterfly top. I used this Marina yarn, which is 100% acrylic. And I think it's not that bad, but it's so bushy. I feel like uh, the finish is a bit bushy, and I don't like that finish for my crochet projects. But if you don't mind, then this is some yarn that you can look out for. And if you can access it, you can purchase it. Then we got some more colors. I purchased this blue and this was my favorite color during the purchase. This and the wine red, just that's the reason why I ended up buying yarn worth $300. I don't even know <laughs> what to use it for, but um, this yarn, the color is very beautiful. Then let's have a look at other colors. I got some other shade of green, as you can see here, then some more white. I got some more white and then I got green here. So then I got another full pack of wine red because the color was so beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to use this yarn for, but I know eventually I'll use it. So yes, this is what we have. And then We got some blues. I got some royal blue. And then we got this nude color. This is another color that I loved so, so much. And I think it's worth giving a try. This one. 
then um, I got some more green and then a shade of pink here this pink um, reminds me of Alize cotton gold they have a shade like this the one that I used for my bust here crochet top then there is this shade of pink which is baby pink I think it's a beautiful one but then we got another shade of green um, you can see this and then some more light blue and then we have this aqua color so yeah that's basically it this was it for my purchase for my newest yarn um i'm happy with it but i just don't know yet what to use it for so i'll just store it and uh this i got from a supplier here i don't remember their name they literally had this i think i left about only one pocket they also had it and um it wasn't shifting so i went and i just saved that day for them um she doesn't have like bulk she doesn't have a lot of it to sell i don't remember her name don't remember the page name but when i do i'll, I'll link it down below i don't know i I just can't remember this I purchased on um, I think this was Monday this was my Monday purchase and all together my bill was about three hundred dollars I felt like it was a lot to spend on yarn but uh, considering what I can make out of this uh, three hundred dollars is like peanuts because you can make a lot out of that little this 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 amount out of three hundred dollars you can make quite a lot of money from it considering patterns then tutorials then lessons then custom orders and so it's always not about the price of the yarn i can always get a lot of yarn but what i use it for is what exactly matters so yeah let's just put this away um the other thing that made me buy this yarn was it was dk and i'm always looking for a dk weight yarn and i just noticed this is something that i can compare to my thicker milk cotton yarn not the thin one there's the thick one that i purchased last year from nairobi um it gives a much better finish than this marina because it's less bushy and it creates very neat projects so if you don't like this and you want a substitute you can go for the thicker milk cotton yarn not the chunky but there is that one that's in between chunky and the thin one there is always that option uh let me see if i can get a ball here all right so thankfully i had one I had a ball here so this yarn is the same yarn that I used for my my <laughs> butterfly crochet top and you can see the finish is just very neat and it's not bushy and you're you're assured of uh, a very neat final product as opposed to the marina you can see I don't know if you guys can see that bushiness around this yarn. I'm not being against it. I'll definitely use it for projects, but it's not the best that I have worked with. So that's my honest review. If you can get a hold of some milk cotton yarn in um, the thicker version, because there is this, and then there is... Uh... Let me get the thinner one here. So both these are milk cotton. So there's this and then there's this. This is the thinner one. 
the one that I used for a purple bikini during some live uh, a few weeks back. So this is the thinner one and this is the thicker one. So if you can get a hold of this, it's a good substitute for DK weight yarn for projects that use four millimeter crochet hooks. And then for this one, you have to drop down and uh, uh, what yarn can you use that won't be heavy? Are you talking about swimsuits? Heavy for what? Because now I am in the process of working on a dress and the yarn that I'm using is 100 grams and I already have four balls finished on the dress. That means the dress is 400 grams total for now, of which I'm still adding. So the final product may end up being around 500 grams. Are you talking about uh, heaviness in the aspect of swimwear or just um, these normal projects? So not so many people Baby wear. The milk cotton can do great for baby wear, by the way. I have used it for my cardigan. I think I have one here. Let me just remind you of um, one project. So you can see the milk cotton that I was recommending for the baby wear we can have this and it's really soft it's cozy it's not bushy to make the baby sneeze and uh, I think this is a good recommendation for baby wear someone was asking uh, but then for for beach wear um, the thinner milk cotton can work For the dresses then you're going to you're going to have to just try out and see what works for you because any yarn can work uh, my biggest challenge is that bushiness around the yarn i don't like it so i really can't handle yarn that does that what size or weight is that uh, i think this is a size three or two i don't know i'll first do my research and then i come and give you a full update about these two yarns i don't want to speak anything that i'm not very sure of i'll first do some research and then i'll get back to you guys So as I was saying, there are not so many people who would be willing to sit through a project like this. So props to any, any crochet artist who sits through long projects like these. I see so many people working with single crochet stitches for a full dress and I'm like, wow. What yarn are you using for the dress? I'm using Nako yarn. Nako. It's made in Turkey. I think I should contact my, I should contact some few pages from Turkey to deliver for me Nakoyan because I need it in different shades. I love the silky effect it creates. Uh, I think this would be really nice for tops and summer wear which I'm always very, very excited to do. So I think I should give it a try. Hi.
Thank you. So I could say such a dress takes me about two days to make, which is a really short time, but uh, you have to be really dedicated to what you're doing because considering the fact that I started yesterday at 11 and today I have only worked for about one or two hours, then... Um, I think I can even make this in a day, but that's when I'm under pressure. I don't want to do that. I usually give myself three weeks, two to three weeks from the day the order is made so that we can be able to chat with the client and we make all the adjustments um, required before I send off the order to the owner, before I ship it. Are you going to make a tutorial for that dress? Guys, there's already a tutorial on my YouTube channel. The only difference is I've made changes for this dress. I have mentioned it on the post on my Instagram page. The tutorial is on the channel already. All right, I don't know how many centimeters that I have right now, but I'm just fighting to finish this uh, ball of yarn and then I'll make some final measurements i know very well that i will have to start another ball of yarn after this one i don't think i'll have gotten the length of the dress that is required i always imagined this dress in a long version so this order just brought my dreams to life I'm able to see how it would really look like if someone ordered for it as a dinner dress or a gown. Um, I also wanted to ask you guys, what's your favorite design by me? What's that design that you feel like it was your favorite the moment I brought it out? So I have so many designs. Of course, there's some people who will be like the floral set, then there's the viva dress, then there's the vasi set. Then there's the butterfly collection. Then there is, there's so, so many. What's that one design that came out and you were like, wow, I like that one. I think it's time for me to go off and continue with my day. I'll catch up with you on my YouTube channel. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.